Hi, this is TapCat, and today I want to talk about what comes next now that we've wrapped up the XCOM Enemy Unknown series. So, uh, the keen-eyed and observant among you will notice that this is not part one of a new Let's Play. I'm going to talk about the reasons for that in just a second, but before I forget, I do want to say that, uh, among other things, I want to do a Q&A video. So you can consider this the uh, call for new questions. So if you want to leave questions uh, on this video in the comments, that would be great. And then, uh, you know, at some point over the next several days or so, I will record a new Q&A. All right, so let's talk about what comes next in terms of ongoing content. And um, I don't have a solid answer, and that's primarily because I have been playing quite a few games. Uh, I actually made a list just for my own sake, and uh, I've played 10 games recently, scouting for one that I would want to play. I guess technically 11 if you count Mutant Year Zero, which we actually did play, right? But I keep trying games. So for example, sometimes it's very quick. I've had a game in my Steam library for years called Silent Storm. I believe it's Silent Storm 2. That's supposed to be just a great, you know, old XCOM-like game. And unfortunately, I finally got around to saying, hey, you know, let's download this. Let's see what it's like. And it literally will not start on my machine. <laughs> you know, I, I launch it and I get a black screen. So that one was quick. Uh, now, I have spent considerably more time in some other games. Other Side launched maybe a couple of weeks ago or so. And I gave that some time. Not really my thing. Um, a lot of the combat is managing this timeline that they have. And it's it's fine, but it really isn't something that I'm all that interested in. You know, like I, I'm sure there will be people who get way into it, but I wasn't really into the lore. Um, actually, one thing both this game and the next one I'm going to talk about had in common is they're very big on giving things made up names, like things that you're you already know what it is. And there are words for them, but, you know, to fit this world that they've constructed, they need to call it something else. And I am not going to lie, I do tend to find that pretty annoying. So <laughs> when the gameplay is just okay for me, but I have to constantly struggle to remember what anything is because they insist on calling it something else, I don't really enjoy that. It really just pulls me out of the game, which is the opposite of what they're going for. So anyway, I'm not trying to trash other side, by the way. I think there will probably be any number of people who will play it and enjoy it. Um, I'm just talking about things that kind of pushed me away. The biggest one is I didn't really care for the combat system all that much. Uh, the other game that I spent a fair amount of time in in the last week or two is Adeptus Mechanicus. That is something that uh, at least two people recommended to me, and I can see why. I do, I do believe it's a quality game. It's certainly worth checking out, particularly if you're a fan of Warhammer 40K. Now, I am not, and that definitely worked against me because there's just they pepper this thing with lore, and again, just a lot of made-up words that you'll be very familiar with, I'm sure, if you are a Warhammer fan. Uh, but when you come to it cold, you better bring a high acceptance of that jargon and learning it. But that, again, I don't want to make it sound like more than it is. I think for me, the biggest thing is the combat that I experienced was fine. But I didn't really, it didn't grab me at all. And the idea of playing a long campaign of it, it, it really didn't appeal to me. So I think, in all honesty, I can definitely be kind of a fussy player. I've noticed that about myself for quite some time, that I'll get put off by different things in a game. 
That was actually one one reason. I spent more time in both of those games than I really wanted to. I kind of had that sense just minutes in, you know, that they probably weren't for me. But I didn't want to, to quit on them too soon. You know what I mean? Like, I really wanted to give them a chance and see what the combat was like so that I didn't just get annoyed by something trivial early and then say, oh, screw this, you know. Um, so anyway, I tried them. They're not necessarily for me. I I can see that they will find audiences or have found audiences, but I'm going to look elsewhere. Uh, I'm not going to go on and list all of the others, uh, but yeah, I, I just keep trying games and none of them have really felt right. The closest one, <laughs> funny enough, because I don't even know if people would watch this if I played it, but Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle on the Nintendo Switch. I started playing that, I think it was the night before last, and then I played it again last night. You know, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. I don't know that I would want to play a whole campaign of it, to be honest. I am still in the part of the game where they're kind of teaching you, you know, and this was developed by Ubisoft, but they're definitely using a Nintendo approach where there's different mechanisms available to you. And they kind of introduce them one at a time and, and you know, let you get used to that before adding the next layer, which is great. I, I don't want to make it sound like that's a criticism of it. But at the same time, I do often feel like it kind of boils down to some pretty basic things. Nonetheless, some of the missions already are getting challenging, though, which is interesting. I could see it getting quite challenging later, but there's something about the combat that I'm not sure interests me enough that I care. I also don't like some of the things they've included in the game. So for example, last night I spent a fair amount of time working out a puzzle. Like basically you you activate this one thing and eight coins appear on the map. And then kind of as if you were in a more traditional Mario game, you have to go and pick up all those coins before they fade. You're on a timer. And um, I kept getting seven of them. And I, I wasn't even clear, like, wait, which one am I missing? Is there one I just haven't found? What's going on? Anyway, I finally got it. But here's the, the thing. Like, I'm not really interested in playing a game like, you know, it's patterned after XCOM, but then mixing in stuff like that. That's not interesting to me and I'm not good at it. And the... The last thing I want to do is make you guys sit through me stumbling around for like 15, 20 minutes trying to solve what should be just a very simple puzzle. Um, so I think if I play the game more at all, I'll just do it off camera and it's very unlikely I'll finish it. Even though, again, I, I can see why there were definitely people, you know, who loved the game. But where does that leave me? Well, it leaves me still searching. Now, thankfully, I do still have some games on my list. Uh, Phantom Doctrine, for example, is one that I have yet to try. I have a couple of others that I've got, you know, kind of on my wish list on Steam to help me keep track of. And on top of the existing games, there are a number of them scheduled to come out in the next month or so that I have also kind of been trying to follow. Now, I have no idea whether I'll like any of them either. So, I'm sorry, I'm I'm turning this into a very long story, but I do want you to understand that this is something I've put real effort into and I keep, I've come up dry, but it isn't because I don't care about putting videos out on a regular basis. I actually would like to have a new series start right now. But here's what I do intend to do because I'm I want to be really clear. I'm not going on another long hiatus. So, number one, I'm going to keep looking. And while I'm looking, I'm going to at least do the Q&A video. And then I think if I need to, I'll just try doing one or two scripted videos so that I have something coming out periodically. Those take me a long time to produce. So, it's not like they'll be daily by any stretch of the imagination. But at least I would be doing something, right? But also, if I can't find anything over the next few weeks, say then my intent is I'll probably just start another XCOM game. Not not uh, Enemy Unknown again, but XCOM of some variety. And ideally, what I would like to do is like do an XCOM game and then something else. 
and then maybe another XCOM game, and then something else. And if I had had that plan when I first came back, like I would have done Enemy Unknown and then Mutant Year Zero and then, you know, another XCOM game. So I'm just going to keep trying to find games. Um, so the good news is no matter what, I will have something coming out as we go through the next few weeks. E either before that time is up, I will start a new series. Or once we get to, say, the end of August, I'll just start a new XCOM game of some variety. So I hope that sounds okay. Sorry that we're going to be taking a little bit of a break. Uh, like I say, I've actually put quite a few hours into playtesting a variety of different games. And um, yeah, nothing that I would really want to play for the channel. So anyway, I don't want to start rambling any worse than I already have. So I'm going to wrap it up. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.